With a $26.5 million renovation completed in 2015, the Student Center includes a new food court, collaboration spaces for student organizations, modern meeting and conference facilities, and new gaming and student recreation destinations. The Student Center was a recipient of the 2017 Association of College Unions International Facility Design Award of Excellence. The Mort Harris Recreation and Fitness Center houses the campus open gym and recreation center. Students, faculty, staff, and community members can enjoy group fitness classes, as well as campus bike rentals and a state-of-the-art rock climbing wall. Spread over three floors, Mort Harris offers exercise equipment, two basketball gyms, and a stationary running track. The STEM Innovation Learning Center is a signature component of Wayne State University's vision for STEM education, filled with emphasis on technology-rich collaboration and science on display spaces. The STEM building brings a centralized STEM-focused academic facility to the heart of WSU's campus throughout flexible classrooms, instructional labs, a makerspace, and a 3D printing lab, as well as space that serves as a hub for K-12 outreach programming. Opened in 2018, the Anthony Wayne Drive Apartments looks to main campus and offers modern studio, one, two, and four bedroom apartments tailored to the needs of students. The School of Business offers the lowest tuition in Michigan's top three research universities with 13 MBA concentrations. It was ranked top 25 in the U.S. in global supply chain by Gartner Research and has an alumni network of 40,000 people. WSU's Welcome Center houses the Student Service Center, where prospective and current students can visit to get assistance with financial aid, admissions, students' account receivable, records and registration, and general university information. Opened in 2002, the two-story, 28,000-square-foot structure is open to the public as well as the university community. Special features include a Wayne State Warriors apparel and merchandise section, children's book section, Starbucks, and a convenience store for snacks and sundries. Old Main was built in 1894 and served as Detroit's Central High School until 1926. It later evolved to Wayne University in 1934 and eventually became Wayne State University in 1956. Today, Old Main houses the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, as well as several departments within the College of Fine Performing and Communication Arts. Opening in 2023, the College of Fine Performing and Communication Arts will utilize the Hillbury Gateway as the future performance home for the Maggie Allisey Department of Theater and Dance and the Department of Music. It will house two state-of-the-art theaters with a 21st century technology design, the production facilities and the Gretchen Vallade Jazz Center. The College of Nursing offers many undergraduate and graduate level programs ranked among the best in the United States by U.S. News and World Report. The faculty is renowned for its real-world expertise, and students have numerous opportunities to get hands-on experience in the college's state-of-the-art research facilities and laboratories. The Tierney Alumni House was previously known as the Hecker House, originally built for Colonel Hecker and his family in 1888. Throughout its history, the home has functioned as a boarding house for single college students, a music company who used it for musical instructions, practice, and sales office, and a law firm who funded an extensive restoration of the building. Wayne State purchased the home in 2014 and later renamed the building the Tierney Alumni House in honor of Wayne State alumni Thomas and Elizabeth Tierney. Opened in 2015, WSU's new Integrative Biosciences Center is a $90 million facility dedicated to studying and eliminating health disparities that plague Detroit's residents. The building houses more than 400 individuals within 200,000 square feet of lab and clinical space designed to foster a collaborative and flexible team science approach to research. Wayne State University's athletic department houses eight men's teams and nine women's teams who practice in the Mathai Center. 
Originally built to house the 1968 Olympics, MathEye offers practice space for Wayne State athletes, a state-of-the-art workout facility, and fitness classes. Completed in 2021, the $25 million Wayne State Fieldhouse is a partnership between the Wayne State men's and women's basketball teams and the Detroit Pistons. The 70,000 square feet arena has the ability to seat 3,000 fans and hosts Wayne State basketball home games, as well as Pistons related events like summer camps and clinics. The Ernie Harwell Museum was a $2.3 million privately raised fundraiser. The facility includes numerous exhibits which pay tribute to Harwell's marriage to Lulu, audio and video of Harwell's signature calls. Guests can enjoy interactive areas showcasing the announcer's great calls, watch Ernie's farewell speech, and read letters written to Ernie. The Harwell Museum is free to visitors and is open at Wayne State home football games. The David Adameny Undergraduate Library, UGL, provides access to hundreds of computers, wireless internet, spaces for collaborative or silent study, and the Monteith Honors College. Founded in 1933, the Wayne State University College of Engineering improves quality of life through engineering and computer science education, research innovation, and entrepreneurship. The 3,300 member student body benefits from a robust academic system with more than 50 degree and certificate programs and a network of 30,000 alumni, both domestic and abroad. For more than 90 years, WSU Law School has been a part of Detroit's history. In 2014, the Damon J. Keith Center for Civil Rights established the Detroit Equity Action Lab, bringing together 60 organizations to address issues of structural racism in Detroit. Notable alumni include U.S. Representative John Conyers and Attorney Sam Bernstein. It is ranked among the top 100 law schools in the country by the U.S. News and World Report. The National Jurist and Pre-Law Magazine have recognized Wayne Law as a best value law school for the past eight years. The Walter P. Ruther Library of Labor and Urban Affairs was established in 1960 with the goal of collecting and preserving original source materials relating to the development of the American labor movement. It is the largest labor archives in North America and houses Wayne State University records. Beginning as a teacher's college in 1881, the College of Education has grown to offer award-winning, nationally recognized programs in 37 areas that educate roughly 4,000 students every year.